desert and it's a lot cooler it's like way cooler in fact I mean not, not me I'm just saying it's like it's like cooler because it's like you know I'm here <laughs> I'm saying like it's like temperature wise like it's, it's, it's a lot cooler um, last time it was like 106 degrees that's what it read on my car and now today it's I mean I think it's gonna get up to 80 degrees which is just phenomenal like when you're out here in the desert and you're blowing stuff up and you have to set up all this stuff I mean we got a lot of stuff I mean like you know there, there's this is a lot of work I mean to sell this up out here so I mean it, it, you're just sweating out of everywhere you know sweating out of places you don't want to be sweating out of like your toes in the back of your knees, in your, in your nose, in your eyeballs. Yeah. We're always taking safety first because last time we had an incident. We don't want to have that again. Um, we're gonna have our camera guy over here, right here. This is Alan. He's gonna be man in the red, which is uh, actually the guy who's filming right now. What's up? Look at that. So we have a red camera out here. A uh, very expensive camera. So it shoots in that slow mo, and I'm actually gonna put him in a hard hat helmet and a face guard so that he's got his whole face protected because look at the face you don't want to you don't wanna break that face you know what I mean I'm gonna be wearing safety goggles and like we'll behind be behind the blast shield I think we can all agree that pumpkin spice everything is amazing so I'm gonna bring out some pumpkin facts for you before well these guys Chris Tom and Jim I just made that up right now <laughs> before they end their pumpkin spice fate so here's the fact one billion pumpkins are grown every year in the United States. One billion. I don't, that's like, that's just to put that in perspective, that's 1,000 million. It's a lot. I mean, can you even imagine what 1,000, so okay. 1,000, 1,000 is a million. So 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 is 1 billion. 1 billion pumpkins. So I don't think these guys, I mean, you know, I don't want to say that they're, their pumpkin lives don't matter, but and we can spare three. So like one of the coolest things to do is to carve a jack-o'-lantern is you take the pumpkin seeds and then you put them in the oven and you cook them and then you know you salt them and they're amazing. Most of the time you eat like half of them and you just like throw them away because you get sick and tired of eating them. But a really cool fact about pumpkin seeds is that pumpkin seeds have more protein than peanuts. Take that Jif! A pumpkin is technically a fruit and a part of the gourd family. So this thing down here is kind of like the same thing as like you know, like a banana, kind of, or, or an apple, sort of. But the fruiting body's on the outside and the seeds are on the inside. That, that's what makes it actually a, a fruit. So we're gonna go ahead and blow these three fruits up. I'm just dying, I can't, God. Because pumpkins are fruit and we had fruits on the last Will It Blows, we had the watermelon, we had a pineapple, I think we even had a cantaloupe. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that these things are definitely going to blow up. Uh, I read somewhere too that pumpkins are over 90% water. That makes sense. So it's just like fiber and like fibrous material and water. Um, the charges inside this, it's definitely going to build some pressure. There's just a little hole in the back uh, and it's duct taped. Um, we went ahead and actually filled them with different colored dyes just because, you know, why not? Um, and so we'll be able to like see which one blew up the most. If I had to take a guess again, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is 100% going to blow up. Um, I think it's gonna be really cool since we've stacked them. Um, I think it's gonna like go sideways, very similar to the watermelon, but you, you know, you never know. So I guess the question always is, will it blow? Unlock number one, unlock number two. It's like being the president and being like vice president. It's got the keys to the, to the warheads. In three, two, one, pumpkin. Did I not get the other one? Stand by! Nope. Huh. So, when I hit the one, I hit the one before the other one, and it blew the lead off of it. So we still have two pumpkins out there, semi-intact, intact enough, um, and we've got one that is completely gonzo. Good thing is, we brought it back up. Here's what happened. Um, the one pumpkin definitely blew up. It, it definitely it blew up. This one did not, actually. 
Uh, the prediction from James was that it wouldn't blow up, and he was right. Look at that. I mean, the no, charge went off. That was Matt. Oh, sorry, Matt. Matt predicted that this wouldn't blow up. He said because there's actually a lot more space inside, and so for that reason, it's not quite as compressed, and it didn't totally blow up. So I was totally wrong for as much as I think I'm just a total genius. I, I really got this one wrong. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put one one of these already has a charge inside of itself, so we're gonna let that one be. And then we're gonna put these two, since this one's kinda half seas already blown up, and then a virgin pumpkin over here. We're gonna put those over top of, what do we call these? Bomb pot. Bomb pods? Pot. Pot, oh, okay. The bomb pot, and we've had some, we've, we've had some luck with the bomb pots before. That's, that's what took the coffee down. And so I have a pretty good prediction that, that, that it'll, it'll do the job. So, but again, I mean, now that I'm educated and knowing that like, it didn't really explode as much as I, as I thought it would, I'm gonna say that these two incinerated, this one, 50-50. Solid 50-50 shot here. Don't know which way it's gonna go. That's my prediction. All right, so first time, ironically, the only one that was smiling the widest, who was also the nerd of the bunch, he's the one that really got blown up. I think his name was Tim. So now we have ye old big pumpkin. This is, his name's John, right? So we got John over here. We've got the, the, the no face pumpkin. That's just like the, he's growing into his personality. You know, he's like a teenager. He's going through a phase, you know, he's just, you know, he's learning, you know, he doesn't really know what he stands for. His name's Robert. And then uh, we still have our upset pumpkin. He's pissed because uh, he's got a giant chunk of the back of his head missing. I'd be upset about that too. You know, real bad headache. Yeah, the heat, it'll get to you. The heat, it's probably a heat headache. Uh, so anyways, we got two over these bomb pots and then one with the charge inside of it. I thought I knew all about pumpkin, like, you know, integrity, structural integrity. I don't really, apparently I don't know anything. So, um, my prediction is, is that these two on the outer side, they're gonna go pretty good. That's gonna be pretty great. This one, 50-50. 50-50 chance. So, I mean, I guess we'll find out, you know, but the question always is, All right, we're gonna turn the one and the two. All right, and Halloween in three, two, one, Halloween! Oh my God. Take a look, skis. All right, well, after it exploded and I heard it, look at this. It's like a crime scene. It's like, don't touch anything. Still like, still a little bit of a, uh, well, you know, for the most part, John did survive. I mean, you know, John really didn't make it very, I mean, he's kind of intact. Huge hole in the back of his head. I mean, he's there, but he's not, I mean, I, I would say this definitely, I, I would say that like 20% blew up. Now, for the other pumpkins. <laughs> uh, let's just go around the little, little little place where we're at right now. All right, there's a little piece right there in the bush. There's a little piece right here. There's two pieces right here over by our other cameras. Uh, there's a piece all the way out here. So I think this was a part of the, um, the one that was, I think it was Tim. Uh, past the iPhone camera, there's a chunk right down here. Uh, my prediction was was sort of correct. So we we definitely saw the two there on the side, the the bomb pots, those gonzo. Um, John, on the other hand, he got like 20% blown up. So um, definitely solid 20% blown up. For the most part, they blew up. If you can, you know figure that two of them went, John didn't. I'd say that you know factor the two about you know 20%. 80% blew up. 
blown up. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below what you want to see blow up in our next episodes. And subscribe! We have new videos every week and we want to make sure you never miss a single Will It Blow video. Also, we couldn't have made this possible without the help from our professional stuntmen, James and Matt. Their information is in the description below. And 